Hey everybody, just a super quick message today. I'm getting so many questions about how do I keep positive and uh, how do I, um, you know, keep going. And I am I am often in a very good mood. I'm trying to protect uh, my energy and my well-being from negative people and things like that. And today I got this question about how I deal with negative people. And I would say most of all, by 90%, I do not deal with them. So I'm trying to just stay away. I used to be the person that would try to uh, prove herself and justify and explain. But as time goes, I'm learning that it takes so much of your energy. It takes all this beautiful energy that you can use for something else, for something productive, for something recharging, for something good. Uh, you know, if you have a business, you can invest it in that or you can spend it with people you love. So why would you spend it on proving something to people, you know, that don't care about you in the first place? You know, uh, somebody said, I think it was a Queen of England, what do you think about me if it's no of my business it's none of my business so people going to judge you anyway um, you know you can be the ripest peach you can be the most kind person you can be the most given person there is still somebody who would not like you and be negative and will try to take away um, from you so take you know make you feel bad for some reason um, Sometimes it's hard and it, I almost feel like it's a ice like I'm on the ice because I'm very passionate about certain things and uh, When people ask me and I already know that we are on totally different pages and I can go into that excitement like I have to move real fast um, I would I have to get out of that ice Recently, I had one accident when I actually got into conversation with somebody and it was total negativity and it was something uh, connected with, you know, politics. And I'm very passionate for my ideas, of course. I have my own vision. But the thing is, it's not even about that. It's about not losing your face when you're talking to other people. And people that I was talking to were definitely, uh, you know, losing their face and kind of on their way to help me lose mine. And, you know, there is a saying that never argue with an idiot because he will uh, win over you with their experience of being one. And that was coming to that. Plus, uh, you know, I love talking with people who have different points of view because I learn something from them. They learn fr something from me. But as long as those people have some culture, so both of us stay respectful. But very few people can do it. So my advice to you, save your energy. Unless you're absolutely sure that that person is respectful and so as you are, and you can talk about contradictory subjects, whether it's, you know, relationship, politics, business, and you can stay respectful without changing your opinions, but you can stay respectful to each other. But unfortunately, I think the majority of people uh, just going into rage, you know, especially with all these events that's going on right now. So my advice to to you my heartfelt advice save your energy don't engage into uh you know these groups and comments and and uh, fights because before you know it the day is gone you done nothing productive you know or you got yourself into negative anxiety so i have accidents one in a once once in a you know big while because, you know, we all want to have a discussion and we all want to talk about those things. We have this false idea that somebody will actually, you know, hear what we want to say. But very often it's not so. Same thing comes to family conflicts. You know how sometimes in a family you have members, you know they're doing wrong, you know maybe they're down wrong to you, but they're not going to change and these conversations they often bring just more pain you can spend so much energy proof something to them uh, you have a better choice very often to just 
have a distance be between you and them unless they are the people that are thoughtful that are willing to listen and willing to change um yeah unless you know that they are that kind of person it's totally different situation you know it's absolutely different approach but if you know that you try to bring them their message just do things your way just you know take care of your life and really it takes no courage to be negative absolutely no courage to be depressed to have low energy to blame everybody it comes easily so you know be the person that lights up the room that have a great vibe that brings the, the good stuff you know I, you know, think that being a person that even if somebody tells bad things about you behind um, your back, but everybody knows how wonderful and vibrant and positive you are and how you, you know, encouraging others and doing good things for everyone and list goes on. So if somebody tells you bad stuff about you, that nobody will believe them be that positive be, be that awesome you don't have to ask anybody uh, for permission to be great to have fun and to be positive so my answer how to deal with negative people is basically do not deal with them keep them as far away from you as possible that is my message guys I'm always happy to hear from you. I appreciate your support very much. I'm super excited about getting more uh, people subscribing. It makes me feel very good. I love giving out the messages and uh, um, I'm just very grateful. For you, positive, positive people. Thank you.